Hey guys, Brian here, Learning Silver and Gold. Uh, just a real quick uh, update video. So I'm glad to, to show that I finally uh, got the last of uh, my precious metals in my IRA account. And those that have followed the channel, well, if you've seen some of my previous stuff, you may know that you know I've been working on, I had moved uh, some money out of my you know, 401k into a gold and silver IRA. And um, I did, um, I took out a portion of it last year uh, at the four, in the fourth quarter and uh, got some of that. And then, so this is the, um, you know, this is the last transaction. I'm, I'm you know, honestly, I got to say with this process, uh, I'm, I'm really glad to be out of these markets and glad to have the last of my, uh, my medals uh, in my possession now. Because, you know, while it was, it was, it was kind of a, it felt like a long road and it was kind of this last round, especially it was kind of brutal in getting it. And, you know, and I think the uh, equity trust, you know, they, uh, supposedly they, you know, like part of the delays on their end was they were doing end of year stuff. Uh, when I filed it originally in January and I'm just now getting it here in March. Uh, and then not all, it wasn't all their fault, uh, because I will say, um, I will say UPS sucks. Uh, so UPS, I had some major issues with them. Uh, the first shipment, uh, they, they came like three times and all they do is send me an email, uh, the day before and say they're going to be there by 7 PM the next day. And, uh, one Saturday I thought for sure I'll get it Saturday, went to lunch, came back, stickers on my door again. Uh, they did it three times. The third time they put on their return to sender and I was like, son of a gun. And I was pretty pissed. And then, uh, but I called up and then the UPS people said that, you know, no, that's not right. The driver's wrong. They said that, uh, that it'll go to the location here in your, in your local city there, that UPS location, it'll go there for uh, pickup. So I drive. So the next day I said, okay, I'll go up there and pick it up and sign for it. So I go there and the lady there says, nope, it, it went back to center yesterday. <laughs> so uh, needless to say, I was pretty peeved, um, at UPS. So then they had to go back through all the way up to the depositor. They had to recount everything. They could make sure everything was still there, uh, repackage it, reship it. And they charged me again for shipment for shipping back through UPS. Uh, you know, when the, after all these issues, they use UPS again. And this time I had went through, uh, the, you know, my monetary gold company, and, uh, and I told them I wanted to go to this certain UPS location in, in my city for pickup. I don't want it coming. I don't want them coming here randomly and missing me every time. Uh, so he said, okay, I'll, I'll take care of it. Well, the, uh, sure enough, I finally get an email. I'm waiting weeks and weeks and weeks. I'm thinking surely this week it'll happen. Nope. It didn't happen. Surely this week it'll happen. Nope. It didn't happen. Finally, I get an email this week from UPS showing shipment and, I um, mean, I had already signed up on a lot of stuff, notifications through their app and everything. It was, just, but so, yeah. You know, and, and again, I checked today, and on the on the website under the tracking, it still showed on its way, on its way. That's all it kept showing. It kept just you know, but it said three day shipping, and it was shipped out on the fourteenth. So I thought, well, that's weird, um, but it doesn't surprise me with UPS. So I thought, you know what? After work today, I'm going to go over there to that to the location, uh, and and just ask. So I go there tonight and I ask the lady, I give her the, I give her the name. She goes back there, doesn't find it. I give her the actual tracking number. She goes back there, doesn't find it. And she comes back and says, is it a small box? You know, I said, yeah, it's probably fairly small, I, you know. And um, a third time she goes back there and she comes out with the box. I was like, my goodness. Uh, so just a real disaster for UPS. And I don't get a notification until I pick it up and sign for it. Then all of a sudden, ding, my freaking phone. Uh, <laughs> what, what a worthless service. So anyway, um, you know, sorry to nag, but um, but very frustrating process. Like I said, I filed this early January uh, to, to get my distribution, and I'm just now getting my medals. So uh, keep that in mind um, in dealing with this process that, um, yeah, it's, um, you know, de depending on the service and all that, you know, it's, it, it can be, it can be kind of painful, uh, to actually get your hands on your metal sometimes. So, and honestly, I, you know, in all this, I hope to never do that again. Um, because the only reason I had to do it was I just, you know, which I say I had to, but that was the best way to get the metal, get the 401k rolled over, um, in my opinion, and get it into metals as soon as I could and stuff. So, but anyway, um, 
let me go ahead and so I'll kind of show. Um, so I got, so these are the, um, like this uh, St. Helena or you know, Guinea uh, pan. Uh, yeah, so it's a, and they're obviously uh, gold bullion. Uh, St. Helena's, um, yeah, New Guinea, one fourth ounce. Let me try to let that zoom in there. So they're very, they're very pretty coins. Uh, although if you know my channel, you know I don't do a whole lot of bullion, honestly. So I'll probably be, uh, I'll probably most likely be trading these in and getting more of the, um, you know, pre-33 or collector's gold type of stuff, foreign currency uh, and stuff. Mostly what I, you know, more of what I collect. Uh, so, um, and I've got nine of these here. Um, so, you know, this, this is about, they're about $500 a piece with, uh, you know, with it being up to 2000 uh, per ounce right now. The last I looked, it was almost 2000 an ounce. Um, so about, you know, well, you could say about $4,500 here, depending on, uh, spot and, and premiums and all that, but, uh, and stuff. So, uh, so yeah, so the, um, but I'll be, um, I'll probably even go tomorrow and see what my local vendor is willing to do on it. And, um, I'm, you know, I may, I may get some cash back and then also I may do kind of, I'm thinking about doing half and half, uh, cash and then half, uh, maybe, um, uh, collector's gold, depending on what, what he has there and stuff too. So. But, um, but yeah, so I just want to let you know, I finally got, I did finally get this in and, uh, glad to kind of be done with it, uh, honestly, and glad to be done, um, and closed out the, the IRA. So I'm fully out of all that. I just, I don't want to deal with it. And, um, and, and the fees and all that kind of stuff too can add up, you know, um, they still actually owe me, um, about $130. They overcharged me on the last uh, on this, uh, this change back since January, I went back and looked at my account and they kept hitting me with hundred dollars here and 130 there. And so they're supposed to owe me back 130 and I haven't seen it. You know, they sure, they, they sure withdraw quick. Um, but they, you know, they won't, uh, they won't deposit very quickly apparently. So that, that's also been another frustration. Uh, and so, so, um, yeah, it's, uh, and to close the account, there was uh, some fees. I think I had to pay in like it was like six hundred dollars, and then I had to pay another eight hundred dollars or another one hundred and eight dollars for this second shipment uh, of, of the metal. So, um, but I'm gonna probably have to get, call them again to um, find out where my reimbursement was for the hundred and thirty, and then find out for sure what all they charged me for the hundred and eight dollars as well. So, uh, but I'm just glad that chapter's over, and I got my I got the metals in my possession now finally, because uh, it has been you know quite frustrating. And, um, and it just makes you nervous, it makes you nervous knowing you got money out there and, you know, I, I just don't want the, you know, if the collapse happens, you know, while your money's in trans in transit or, um, or, you know, or well before it's in transit, before you get everything filed, you know, I can just imagine the chaos, uh, and stuff that's, that could ensue pretty quickly. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, I definitely wanted to get this in my possession as soon as I could. And I'm glad to, um, it, you know, it worked out in the long run, I guess, uh, getting it in my, in my possession. But, um, you know, definitely not without frustration. So just keep that in mind if you're looking into the IRA type of stuff, gold and silver banking type of things. Um, I, I've, I've dabbled in some of those, like the UPMA out through Alpine Gold. It's probably the one of the better ones I've found. But um, there's issues with that, too. Um you know, if you're looking at that kind of thing, uh, because the problem I had with the UPMA was you can set up an account, you can even do direct deposit, things like that through your job and things. But the, um, the issue I had was, is they do a gold dollar. It's like their own uh, rate on the gold dollar and silver dollar, which is higher than the actual spot price. Uh, now they offset that by, um, so if you, you know, let's say you put some money in there and then you have, um, and you decide to have some, have them ship you some, uh, silver eagles or whatever, gold eagles or whatever, then, you know, you pay the shipping on it, of course, as well, but they're going to charge you their gold dollar or silver dollar price, I guess, again, which is higher than the actual spot price, uh, but they offset that by saying that they will buy it back from you at the higher price as well. But my issue with that is, is that, you know, in a, in a, you know, collapsed economy scenario, uh, you know, what are the odds they're, they may, may not be in business, you know, for one thing, but, uh, what, you know, am I going to want to put my medals in the mail? Do I want to pay the shipping, the, uh, the ship it back, um, you know, and ship the stuff, you know, back and forth. It, it is, is there even going to be a post office at that point? I don't know. I mean, in, in an apocalyptic 
you know, zombie apocalypse scenario, I, I have to assume there's, you know, the post office is non-existent possibly, or it's highly, highly unreliable, most likely. Uh, when people are eating zoo animals, the last thing on their mind is going to be, you know, uh, shipping something from A to B from one city to the next. So, you know, we have to kind of think about this in the, in the long term and prepare for the worst, sadly, uh, including, um, I guess, getting your apron ready to eat the zoo animals, I guess. Uh, but apparently, which actually I've heard happened in Venezuela, by the way. So, um, yeah, um, something to look forward to, I guess, uh, to find out what, you know, tiger tastes like. Uh, <laughs> but I'm joking, but I'm not, sadly. So, um, but this is the communist America that we all know and hate. Uh, but um, so welcome to communism, uh, comrades, and um, keep on stacking to avoid the CBDCs uh, that are coming and the uh, enslavement of uh, mankind. Talk to you soon.